Today I'll show you how I made this floating, spinning Zen garden. I would like to think it came in a dream, but it was more like in a grocery store. I'm a big fan of Zen gardens and just the whole concept of Zen. This is the first one I built with my son. It's a Lego Zen garden. I'll post it up there if you're interested. And I saw one online where 3D printed this version that had a motor and it had this thing that wiped around and made a pattern. But I thought it was too complicated for most people to build. So when I saw this in the store, I'm thinking this could be a spinning Zen garden. It's a chip and dip serving tray. It's a 12 inch circle with a center and it's about two inches tall. So let me show you how I took this chip and dip tray and turned it into a rotating Zen garden. The materials for this build are pretty easy. This is the key component. Measure a dozen times, drill once. And then I came up with a base. It's a six inch circle, three and a half inch quarter inch bolt. Got some roller bearings in here. And then I've got a four inch circle for the top or island that you're going to rotate around. Some white sand and some rocks something visually interesting to put on the platform that's going to rest here. Another project that I'm working on right now is making pointers. So I'm using these wooden hands to do that. Post it up there when it's available and down below. The great thing about boiled linseed oil is it protects and seals. I'm not sure I want to eat food out of a boil that's been sealed with linseed oil. I'm just going to try to go over the surface here. Not hit these white indentations. But we'll start here with the top. Pouring it over the project, see it comes out pretty easy. And we're just gonna run this around the inside, bring out the details of the wood, but also seal it up and protect it. And if you use too much, you can just dry it off with a paper towel. I'm just gonna run it over the top here, and I'll do the bottom. Give it a nice little shine. This is actually made in India and it is mango wood. Since I have the boiled linseed oil out, I'm going to seal these guys up again. Both the one I've done before and this one here. Leave it overnight, wipe it down a little bit and see what we got. If you're gonna use it for any kind of food, you wanna use some straight olive oil instead of boiled linseed oil. And I found out from the container that boiled linseed oil can spontaneously combust. So maybe I'm not gonna use that as much unless I'm doing it outside for some wooden tools like axes and hammers and things like that. But for things that you might eat out of, you definitely wanna go with something like straight olive oil. So I've done this and I just put that over my hands and actually olive oil is good for your skin so don't worry about getting some of that on there. You can wear gloves if it bothers you. Now if this loosens up on you, you can certainly Glue it in place, but I kind of like the option of having it more portable. In my case, this is a three inch, one quarter bolt, and I've taken a washer and put it down there. I think it's a one inch washer, quarter inch. Then I've taken one of these lockouts, quarter inch, and just a regular nut. Here, I've actually carved into it a little bit, and I've got a washer on that side, and I just spray painted all of that. Took some of these little silicon pads, put it down there, just raise it up a little bit. So the next thing I'm going to do, another one of those washers just like this one, in here. Then I'm going to take a roller bearing. I'll post down below in case you're interested, but these are all just cylindrical rollers. Put this guy down in here, just a flat three quarter inch washer. And then you've got the hole here, I'm just going to slide that on there like this. Another washer, another roller bearing. Use the, another, the roller bearing on there. Connectors, three quarter inch, put that down. You could use different combinations, whatever seems to work for you. Tighten it down, now that's hand tight and you can see it rolls pretty good with a little bit of effort. Here, like that. And you wanna make sure that you get it this so that it's floating and it doesn't get hung up on this circle. If you didn't have this circle, you could just do it straight in. I'm gonna put this little piece here, and then a regular quarter inch washer, another lock, and you'll have a little bit hanging up. So you know what, I think I'm gonna put another washer on there. 
So this is a coupling nut here, one quarter inch, 27 eighth inch long, and these are fender washers. So I'm gonna put two fender washers there because I wanna raise this up just a little bit more, and maybe just another washer there. You can see that I've cut this out with a forcer bit, very similar to what I did here, only that's a little deeper, because right around half inch plywood. Put another washer, locker, and I want it an even with this platform. Ratchet that down. Because you have the two roller bearings in there, it still spins and it's in there rather tight. And that will loosen up a little bit over time as you move it. But that's relatively flush with the top. That's what I'm looking for. All right. So you can see that it kind of looks like it's floating in the air. And that's your little island. Now we're gonna get some sand in there. Reptera white premium calcium carbonate sand. You could use any kind of sand that you want, but I like the contrasting color of this. And just scoop it in. And then you can get to using your tools. Now you can use the flat surface of this and move it around like that. And it goes in both directions, of course. Or you can use this flattener like this. Put some more scoops in there. This is where the fun begins. Now, if you didn't have any tools, you could get really therapeutic and just run your fingers through it. Like that. But since we made the tools, we're gonna use them. We're about ready to do the next part. So we got our sand down, nice and even. I think it's just kind of fun to make circles around the base here. I'm gonna put a little more in there. You can always take it out if it's too much. Okay, now the fun begins. Got some different kinds of rocks. Since it's teetering a little bit, I'm just gonna take a washer, put it right over there to give a base for the rocks to sit on. You could do something like this. It's certainly an option, and then move it around. You could go with a little more abstract idea. It's just granite block. I got in one of my travels. Let's see if we can get this all to balance. And that's half the fun, isn't it? There you go. Or if you're not into that, or you want to do a combination of both, you could go with this and put a candle on top. That would be nice. Then light the candle. Or you could take and put a bigger candle on. Okay, here we go. I'm gonna change it up here a little bit. That is fun. If you want to change the angle a little bit, you could. And that will change the thickness. And we'll go in the opposite direction. Play some nice calming music. I knew this was going to be fun. It's so zen. It's so calming to do this. I'm just really amazed. Of all these tools I've made, i put them all in here like this. I think my favorite is this one here. It's got the two positions. Thumbs up and comments. Always appreciate it. Thanks for watching. If you're interested in making tools, Zen Gardens, Designs of all kinds. I even do costumes, cosplay, and props. Check out my channel and please subscribe because you never know what you're going to see.